Here I have my iPhone XS. This is my iPhone XS running iOS 13. And this is my iPhone XS in dark mode. Here is everything you need to know. Welcome, welcome everyone. It is Andrew here from Apple Insider and I have my iPhone XS running iOS 13. And as you can see, we are in a beautiful dark mode skin that Apple is applying as part of this update. Of course, it's not mandatory. You don't have to be in dark mode if you don't want to be, but Apple really has done an amazing job of bringing that dark UI across all of its native apps. Some apps like weather still seem a little bit light, but that's not exactly an easy UI to translate between light and dark. It's supposed to reflect the weather that's actually outside. But of the apps that Apple can change, they have done an amazing job and really everything, all the overlays, all the menus, it all looks really nice, especially on the latest phones that have those OLED displays. Going into settings, you can automatically choose between light and dark. Just toggle which one, which UI you'd prefer. You can also have this happen automatically. When this is turned on, you can have it turn light in the morning and then turn dark at night. If you want to create your own custom schedule, you can do that just as easily. Having it happen automatically is great, but there are times that you're still going to want to manually enable it. Say you go into a dark theater and you want to be able to look at your phone before the movie starts, but not during. Well, you can easily do that from Control Center. Simply 3D touch on the brightness toggle, and there's a new button down there at the bottom. It has a really nice animation as you switch from dark to light, and it'll stay that way, just like Night Shift, until sunrise or sunset. That way, if you toggle it on, it'll automatically stay there until the next time that it's supposed to change in your schedule. To complement dark mode, Apple has included four new wallpapers that take advantage of this new UI. That seems very similar to the dynamic wallpapers with macOS Mojave that will automatically get darker and darker over time and lighter and lighter over time throughout the day. These, however, simply go from dark to light as you switch between those dark and light appearances. They are four different colors. We like all of them. They all look very striking. And basically they just switch their appearance based on what setting you have. As you can have a light background or a dark background, these will all automatically switch with it compared to any other background, which is going to stay stock how it is. Needless to say, dark mode does not just work with iOS 13. It is also over on the iPad as part of iPad OS. It still looks just as sharp and just as amazing over on the larger displays. They don't have OLED panels, but the blacks still look pretty solid. You can see all the widget view here on the left, and even third-party apps are going to be able to take advantage of this thanks to a new developer API. Developers like Twitter or HomePass have all been taking advantage of their own versions of dark mode, even having them switch automatically for quite some time now. But now thanks to Apple Developer API, everything happens in the background and the developers have to do so much less work to integrate it into their apps. So when iOS 13 is finally available, you should see almost all of your big major apps quickly take advantage of the new appearance scheme. Dark mode is just one of the new features within iOS 13 and iPad OS. There are a lot more, so let us know down below in the comments which videos you still want to see and want us to demo for you, and let me know what you guys think of dark mode. Is this everything that you hoped it would be? Shout out below, or go ahead and reach out to me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see and follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.